Let's take a look at these bar charts questions. So first of all, we need to complete the bar chart. Now we can, we've got a table of values here. Uh, we can see that maths, science and geography has already been done. So English five. So English is gonna be in here somewhere and uh, we can see that for maths and for science and for geography, the bar charts are two squares wide. So we want English to be two squares wide, but we don't want it to be touching the maths or the science. So it was gonna be uh, these in between um, these lines here. So English needs to go all the way up to five, which is here. So that is English done. History seven. So again, it's gonna be these two here and it's gonna go all the way up to seven. So again, using a ruler would be preferable. I'm freestyling with a graphics tablet and PE is nine. So that's gonna start here and go all the way up to nine. So there we go and we have completed the bar chart. So how many students did the teacher ask? Well, it's just gonna be two plus five plus four plus seven plus nine plus three. Uh, you can use a calculator, so 30. Question two, we need to complete uh, the table and bar chart. So first of all, in week two, we can see we're going up to 48. In week three, we can see we're going up to 38. Week five is 40, that's already included, and six is 44. So now we need to put in the missing bars. Now for week one is 42, so we can see the bars are two uh, squares wide, and you can see they don't touch each other either. So I'm gonna uh, use start here and finish here. That's two wide and it won't touch the two, and there'll be a nice little gap from the y-axis as well. Um, and for week one, we were going up to 42, so up to here and just do a, uh, preferably with um, a ruler so it's a straight line um, looks a bit like a chimney that one um, ideally yeah it should be a proper rectangle and for four we're going all the way up to 52 so we're going to go up here until we hit 52 which is this point here two across and down and we are done how much did Connor spend on food in total over the six weeks so it's gonna be all of these values together. We can use the calculator and that comes to a total of 264 pounds. Question three, we need to complete the table and the bar chart. Well, let's complete the table first of all. So Tuesday is five, Thursday is seven, and Friday is nine. So we need to fill in for the remaining day, so Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, we can see that all these columns are too wide. Monday needs to go up to four, um, and you can see that none, none of the bars touch. So let's li little gap between Monday and Tuesday, and it's gonna be too wide, and it's gonna go up to four. So there is Monday completed. Wednesday needs to go up to six, which is there. Saturday goes all the way up to 14, so that's almost to the top. Again, better if you can use a uh, ruler to create a straight line, as I'm just freestyling it. And Sunday is 13, which is this point here. And we're done. So the most important thing is make sure all the bars are the same width and that they're not touching each other. And how many sunglasses did Cara sell between Monday and Friday? So we're not interested in Saturday and Sunday. So we're just adding these values up here you can use the calculator, so that comes to 31 pairs of sunglasses. Question number four, we need to complete the table. So January is this bar here, it goes up to eight. February's three, then five, so eight, three, five. Uh, April is two, then 10, then six. In which month did Julie read the most books? Well, you can either look for the biggest number um, in the table or just see well which bar goes the highest and you can see May is higher. So May is the answer to 4B. And how many more books did Julie read in January compared to February? Probably go off the table since we've done it. It's the difference between eight and three. Eight take away three is five. Question number five. We just need to complete the bar chart so we can see Spain goes up to eight. France needs to go up to five. 
We're going to take our cue from Spain um, here. We can see that the bar is too wide, so we're going to leave a gap, and this one is also going to be too wide, and it's going to go all the way up to five. UK goes up to six. Again, leave a space between the UK and the France one. America is nine, so that's going to be up to here. Using a ruler would be preferable. Italy is going to go all the way up to seven, which is this point here. And Turkey just goes up to three. And we're done. Question number six. We're just completing the bar chart. You can see that the bar is two squares wide. Um, scales nice and easy to follow. So white is going to go up to 11. So we'll leave a gap between the red bar and the white one. Uh, and this is going to go all the way up to 11, which is here. Again, a ruler would be preferable. Black is going to go up to 9. That was a fairly poor effort, a straight line there. Silver is going to go up to 6, which is here. Blue up to 5. And grey up to 2. And we're done.